Hey Eric, um, giving you a video response to your cleaning the heater core, which is, I think, a phenomenal idea. Um, my heater does not get hot, and I just bought this car uh, used for a phenomenal price with a couple of problems of its own last week. Um, and some of the problems were uh, a couple of check engine lights having to deal with uh, broken hoses on the EVAP system and uh, PCV system and uh, O2 sensor and whatnot. So I'm going through and finally getting this uh, cleaned up and you know, roadworthy so I can you know, finally have a car again. But wanted to uh, give you a video response of uh, what I'm experiencing is um, no heat. So if you notice, the temperature is at uh, normal operating uh, range and oh yeah uh, 199,421 miles I'm going to keep this baby for another 200 grand she's just now getting broken in but uh, you'll notice I have the heat on high uh, and let's, let's turn the fan on then we'll come over here and I just drove it around uh, the block to get it up to operating temperature I don't know if you can get a shot of that or not say it's about 60 65 degrees outside so I, I, I would think you know with the heater on high that should be pushing 80 85 degrees maybe even hotter coming straight out of the vent but um, I'll pull this in and pull the heater hoses and uh, go through the steps that you have in your video which uh, seem like a great idea but uh, I'll check back with you uh, oh uh, real quick uh, and some of the things that I was uh, fixing in here, some of the bulbs were burned out in the HVAC control unit. Uh, replaced those. Uh, the blower motor resistor, of course, was bad, so it only blew on the high. Uh, and I did do a, uh, a test on that uh, continuity and uh, voltage test and whatnot. And the, the old, I don't have it in here, but the old uh, resistor was just, you, you could see obvious burn uh, marks where the resistors were. But I want to show you this. Uh, as I was putting the dash together, I was in a hurry because it's late at night. It was getting cold. I was hungry. I was tired. And I put my stereo back in upside down. It works fine. But uh, I'm going to leave it like this because this is a prime reason why you take your time, you do it right, and, and you don't mess up. Because if you don't take your time and do it right, you flip things on its head and you just have to come back and do the job again. But I thought uh, you'd get a kick out of that and <clears throat> excuse me and get a chuckle but uh, let me get this uh, pulled into to my garage and uh, go through the uh, heater core cleaning and see how it reacts after that talk to you in a bit I love this Dakota I mean how easy is this to work on it's a 4.7 liter um, and in the week that I've had it this this thing's been a dream to work on uh, the only thing I do not like about the the Dodge Dakotas, at least with this year model or this model um, or this truck, because I, I don't know what it's been through in the 200,000 miles of its life. But I know from the factory, the upper control arm and the lower control arm have ball joints riveted in. I, I don't understand the design, the, the design of that, but. Long story short, I have to replace the ball joints, so I'm going to have to knock those off. And I got new ones that uh, came with bolts and lock nuts. But uh, anyways, here we go. Um, right here, heater hoses. Bam. Um, and this is this is funny because yeah, that is definitely. This is definitely the return line because this is just, even sitting next to the uh, valve cover, it's chilly. I mean, I bet if I pop that, I bet if I pop that hose off, nothing's going to come out. So yeah, it is definitely blocked up. Uh, and this one, yeah, it's 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 definitely warm, uh, a lot warmer than this one. But I can't, 
really distinguish with my hand because I mean the valve covers I mean literally right there within an inch of the top of my finger so I'm feeling the valve cover heat but yeah I, I would definitely say it's blocked up all right well let's hope that it's not all chewed up and I have to drop the dash and replace the uh, heater core <clears throat> but I'll uh, set this camera up and go through the process and uh, let you know what I think all right looks like my fun is just beginning I followed the heater hose <clears throat> from over here and I uh, followed the tubing goes up underneath the air box underneath and around down here to the water pump I don't know how well you can see it down there but I noticed that the return line see me wiggling it down there it's completely disconnected off of the uh, water pump the supply line this guy this guy right here is um, cut underneath it you know how good of a shot you can get um, hold on we'll flip you upside down sent you down there yeah it may not be too good but um, it's cut so I imagine what happened was uh, before I bought it the previous owner probably had a crack in there and it was leaking probably took it into a mechanic or maybe even to the dealer and they quoted him an ungodly price for a new tubing uh, well I bet that's a 200 plus dollar deal apart you know for giggles I'll probably call him and find out but that is one reason why my heater core is not working the other less optimist, optimistic reason why it's done like that is that the heater core is probably completely trashed and the owner did not the previous owner did not want to pay to replace it so they did this fix so the engine would continue to run and there would be no heat which kind of makes sense I bought this down in Austin uh, close enough that it probably doesn't get too cold during the winters but uh, up here in Dallas it'll get pretty chilly luckily we're heading into spring so I'm not completely in a bind not having this but I'm still gonna fix it anyways because it's not right so what I'm gonna do instead of uh, buying a new pipe I'm just gonna go ahead and go get about five feet of heater hose and yeah, maybe more probably six feet and since this is the uh, supply line I'll just take this uh, metal tubing out run the heater hose up and under and then back into the back of the uh, heater core see how that does but uh, I'll be back in a bit with the, the heater hose alright alright Eric I've got everything buttoned up and uh, hose, new hoses are installed <clears throat> excuse me and let's take it for a test drive uh, flush it out with the calcium lime and rust remover product and uh, a lot of gunk came out but not not enough to, to make me think wow that that was a problem I knew the problem was that hose bypass that somebody did um, and I think probably what happened is the guy that owned this before me found himself out on one of the uh, farm roads and his truck was overheating or a hose split or something like that and he just bypassed it and left it uh, left it like that since I doubt he ever used the heater in this thing so let's take it for a spin get it up to a normal operating temperature and see how the heater works I just came back from getting the heater hose probably 20 minutes ago and it's yeah, the warm's doing pretty good. Let's let's go ahead and try the heater. A little bit of a difference. I I don't know. Let's take it around the block and put my seatbelt on.
is definitely warmed up now and the temperature is just barely setting above 70 so maybe too much, but enough to make me think that uh, I didn't put enough coolant in there. Yeah, it's got to be that because the way that uh, water pump is set up, it looks like there's two uh, hoses that are supposed to run specifically for the uh, heater. check it and top it off because when I pulled that bottom heater core uh, oh wait a minute hold on yeah the heater seems to be getting hotter you know, there's got to be an air bubble or something in there let's check it real quick all right here we go that it's just from some of the crap that blew out. I don't see any leaks from the new hoses. Let's go over here. I do not see any leaks down there. Hmm. Interesting, and it's moist right there because that's that's where the um, I took the last hose off. It had some in there that spilled out. Well, shoot! Cool it, please. Pop this bleed valve and uh, see if we can get any air to come out. Be right back. 